love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa what is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am bill pony i do car reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2020 dodge charger scat pack courtesy of Stetler Dodge Jeep Ram in York, PA. And so I always try to review this one. I always do review this one, I should say, because this car is wonderful and the seats are bolstered perfectly. So comfortable in this thing right now, I gotta say. But this thing is always an absolute blast to review and drive, so I always try to hit it up every year. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, Let's start with pricing. And so the way I'm going to break pricing down for the 2020 Charger Scat Pack is there are two different configurations. First, the standard Charger Scat Pack starting at $39,995. And then you have the wide body variant starting at $45,995. And so regardless of what setup that you go with, the power plant on this beast is going to be the same. Powering this one is a 6.4 liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 480 85 horsepower at 6100 rpm 475 pound feet of torque available at 4100 rpm power of course sent to the rear wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we of course will be testing out in a little bit as far as reaction times go all in all zero to 60 comes in at approximately 4.2 seconds quarter mile right around 12.6 seconds top speed 175 miles per hour that's ridiculous mpg numbers coming in at 15 in the city 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel of course but before we do that paddle shifter test or acceleration test or any of the fun stuff did want to mention there are some driving modes and those driving mode selections can be accessed through the infotainment screen actually and it's going to give you a bunch of different aspects of the vehicle you can adjust things like the throttle response shift points steering sensitivity traction control and actually the paddle shifters as well so that is definitely quite fun but now i think you guys know what time it is here let's do a quick little paddle shifter test here what i'm going to do for that is i'm going to slide the shifter all the way to the left that is going to give me that full manual shifting mode boom boom i love the sound of the paddle shifters i love the sound of the engine when you shift through the gears paddle shifters are definitely quite quick not the fastest i've ever tested but i've tested a good bit of cars at this point but still paddle shifters are perfectly fine definitely a very high quality very high end feel they feel magnesium a lot of paddle shifters are going to be plastic these days even the luxury vehicles but these feel very high end so i'm definitely a huge fan of the paddle shifters but if you weren't if you didn't want to use them simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right that is going to give full control back to the charger and you guys know what we have to do next let's do a quick little acceleration test here in our 2020 charger scat pack and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. And there we go. Whoa, sliding. There we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a very smooth acceleration, I got to say. That was nice. Although, you know, it is a little bit wet out this morning. We're still in the morning. Got that morning dew and all that fun stuff. But so it was a little bit of slippage. But yeah, that was a fun acceleration. You got a V8. So definitely a very nice acceleration there. But as always, to go along with that, braking is equally important. And so 15.4 inch ventilated front discs. Those are huge discs. There's a huge rotors, by the way, you guys. Four piston front calipers come standard. I did want to mention there is a dynamics package though that adds $2,295 that gives you six piston Brembo front calipers and they are black brake calipers by the way if you go with that dynamics package so those are definitely going to be some beastly brakes up front in the back 13.8 inch rear discs as far as the braking fuel goes here's a stop sign yeah <laughs> Definitely no issues there. This is a bigger vehicle, so it's always something you want to test, but definitely no issues with brake pedal delay or anything like that. So that's always nice. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit. Up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, an independent multi-link rear suspension. I did want to mention there is an optional adaptive damping system available. If you wanted that, simply add $995 to those prices. But that's really going to give you the best of both worlds. It's not only going to absorb a lot of the road's imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but but it's also going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you a little better handling, really giving you the best of both 
worlds, like I was saying. And although I don't have that in this particular Charger Scat Pack today, the ride quality is still perfectly fine for me. Touching on steering feel a little bit, I just put it in sport mode. It is a noticeable difference with the weight of the steering feel. I definitely would prefer it with that weightier feel to it. So I am a huge fan of the steering feel in sport mode, although I will say it does get quite loose if you take it out of that sport mode and perhaps just put it in automatic mode, which is where I originally had it at. So there is a noticeable difference there. So if you prefer the heavier weight, you can always put it in sport mode. But having said that, steering feel is perfectly fine for me and really you have something for everybody there. As far as cabin noise goes, really all I'm getting is the exhaust note, which is beautiful. We will, of course, be doing an exhaust clip a little later in the video. So be sure you stay tuned for that. But did would also mention in addition to that, as far as that cabin noise goes, yeah, you can hear the exhaust note, but there really isn't a whole lot else coming into the cabin. And that's halfway due in part because there is an acoustic front windshield and front door glass as well. And that's something that doesn't come standard on every manufacturer. And usually when it does, it's on luxury cars, but that is pretty cool that Dodge threw that on there as well. And then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And really with sedans, you aren't gonna have any issues with visibility, but did wanna mention if you go with the technology group for an additional $1,895, that is going to add rain sensing windshield wipers as well as some other things, of course, as well. But rain sensing windshield wipers, of course, being when it senses any kind of drizzle or any kind of rain it is going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers. One last thing you have to worry about so you can better focus all your attention on driving this beast of a machine. So that is definitely a plus as well. But that about rounds up the performance segment of this review. What do you guys say? Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. All right, you guys, here she is, the 2020 Dodge Charger Scat Pack, looking so freaking awesome. No new colors for 2020, by the way, in case you were curious. However, there are some color deletes. Let me go ahead and go over those real quick. No longer available for the 2020 model year, previously available for the 2019. You have Sublime going away, Plum Crazy B5 Blue, Destroyer Gray, and Maximum Steel. Those are the colors that are no longer available for the 2020 Charger Scat Pack. But so now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and start up front here scat pack b logo found within the front grill of course to the sides halogen projector headlights are going to come standard they do come with of course the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out they're going to turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also standard surrounding the perimeter of these headlights of course if you wanted hid headlights they can be had with the driver confidence group and i'll go over that a little bit later towards the end of the video though but projector fog lights can be found just below of course and you have that red Ram Air style hood front and center of course and that is functional by the way there are actually holes in that ram air style hood so that's always a plus but make our way to the side 392 hemi badging found within that front fender of course black window surrounds as well then when it comes to those side mirrors let's go ahead and get close up to them body colored power adjustable side mirrors will come standard and they will actually come heated as well that comes standard by the way but take a look down at the wheel setup 20 by 9 inch aluminum alloys will come standard 20 by 9.5 inches is going to come with the dynamics package or the daytona package either one is going to give you slightly wider width but if you were to go with the wide body version this charger scat pack you will get 20 by 11 inch wheels so a little better grip for you and that's where that slightly quicker quarter mile time and zero to 60 time is coming from and actually it's going to improve handling a little bit as well but making our way to the back you will find that shark fin antenna up top there then you have the satin black rear spoiler let's get a close-up of that one real quick of course you got the b logo found in the lower right hand portion of that trunk led tail lights all the way around and just below it all here's the fun part you guys dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so i think you guys know what is coming next as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> So, but now since we are still around back as far as opening that rear trunk goes there is a button on the key fob simply press that button twice that is one way you can go about opening up the rear trunk there's also a button by the driver's side left knee that is a second way and there's a button in the back of course as well so you got three ways to open that rear trunk but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 16.5 cubic feet 
If that was not enough space for you, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Then make your way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 40.1 inches. That's actually a good bit. Did want to also mention for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders. That's always a plus. And they got some rear ventilation actually back there as well. But then make your way to the front seats. There are power adjustable front seats with a cloth finish and the B logo found in the upper portion of them, of course. If you were to go with the plus group, which adds $2,000 essentially, you will get a Napa leather and Alcantara finish. So it's going to be a combination finish there. And if you were to go with the Daytona package they are going to be Daytona specific seats of course with the Daytona lettering found where the scat pack logo currently is on these so it's going to differentiate itself a little bit even more but front seats will be heated as well that is a standard feature across the board so I also wanted to mention that and take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel and it is heated again coming standard so that's always a plus then making our way to the startup here let me first start by showing you guys the key there is the dodge logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch of course and the times two button that is your remote start so you can warm the charger up on super cold days in pennsylvania actually unlike today we're in the 60s in freaking january it's wonderful but nonetheless let's go ahead and start this one up all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there and so once started up, tachometer is all the way on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls on the left side there. And so when you play around with that, you got things like a digital speedometer. That's probably what I would leave it on. Also your tire pressure information for all four tires, engine temp, oil temp, things like that. But perhaps the best part, my favorite part at least, is the performance section of it so this is going to give you things like you can time your zero to 60 timer zero to 100 there's the quarter mile timer braking distance g-force statistics a lap timer but perhaps the best part is your top speed it is going to tell you the very top speed that this particular vehicle has ever been in that is awesome i wish my mustang did that but that is my favorite part perhaps but nonetheless continuing on you can check out your average fuel information trip a trip b radio settings of course when you need your next oil change and there's a bunch of other stuff you can check out of course as well but i'm gonna leave it on the digital speedometer because i like that making our way to overall interior quality there is a power sunroof available for 1295 dollars we of course don't have that today universal garage door openers will come standard for up to three different garage doors they can be found on the uh the ceiling or roof of this charger here up top there overhead sunglass holder is going to be just in front of that dual zoom climate control will come standard as well i like the 392 with the uh scat pack b logo found just on top of the passenger side glove box there that's definitely really nice speaking of glove box i always like the dodge glove boxes like the charger and the challenger here's the reason why of course you got your standard glove box but just above that you have a little cubby area just enough space to put perhaps your Glock or your SIG and then to the left of it your bullets so that when you go to the shooting range you are good to go that's that's always a plus here but nonetheless you do have a little cubby area just in front of the shifter 12 volt power outlet right there as well little storage area perhaps for some change just to the right of the shifter you got dual cup holders and a cell phone holder just behind all of that and of course just underneath of the center armrest this is probably one of the cool things this tray of course you always have a tray underneath the center armrest i feel like but it does have little cutouts for change so like quarters nickels dimes and pennies it looks like or maybe i switched the pennies and the dimes but nonetheless it's cut out for change. I always think that's pretty cool because a lot of times when you go to like a, a toll or something on the interstate and you just need a little bit of money, you just want to use up your change, you can never find it because it's everywhere. That's that's my situation at least. But this is kind of cool where it actually has the cutouts for it. So I like that. Dual USB charging ports also found within that auxiliary port as well. And of course, a good bit of space. So I actually like that setup there for the center armrest. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and move on to the tech display here. You will find an 8.4 inch color touchscreen display coming standard across the board bluetooth and audio streaming also standard android auto apple carplay also standard meaning all you need to do is simply hook your smartphone up to the charger and therefore you have free navigation through that display screen as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs there's a couple other compatible apps as well if you wanted a factory navigation system although you really don't need it these days simply add 995 dollars to that pricing there also you can check out your climate control settings up there of course as well as your performance pages as i was previously mentioning so 
detail. And that also, actually, I didn't mention it before, it does give you launch control and active line lock. So use the line lock, of course, to warm up the tires before you actually get to the line, and then use the launch control when you take off. So it's kind of set up for drag racing, this car. And it's a four-door drag racer, so that's even cooler. So nonetheless, you can also check out your radio settings up there as well, of course. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will get six speakers and 276 watts with the standard setup, of course. And there is an optional sound system that we do have today, being the 19-speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system for $1,995. And honestly, that price for 19 speakers really is a heck of a deal. So let's go ahead and turn that on, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. The bass will seriously give you a back massage on the front seats. The bass is ridiculous. It's wonderfully ridiculous, let me say. Clarity is certainly fine as well, but the bass is really what impressed me the most with that Alpine sound system. That was nuts. Anyways, last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display, of course, is when you do put the charger scat pack in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. This is just our front side side curtain airbags that will come standard. In the back, you have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also back there, rear child door locks too. Tire pressure monitoring system will come standard, but some of the more advanced safety features can be had with some optional package groups. For instance, there's the driver confidence group for $1,295. That adds an auto dimming driver's side mirror HID headlights blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and side mirror courtesy lamps as well. So when you're walking up to the charger at night, they're gonna illuminate the ground so you don't step on any puddles or whatever they're there for. So nonetheless, technology group also adds $1,895. That's gonna give you adaptive cruise control, advanced brake assist, automatic high beams, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and rain sensing windshield wipers. And so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.